for joining us this Tuesday live on Smart Family. I'm Daphne Monroe. And I'm Connie Cola. And our goal here is just to keep it smart and simple as we roll up our sleeves. We hope you're going to learn something every okay. day. Okay. I'm going to do this There way. you go. Hey, one okay. of our smart topics today is how much salt is too much salt for your family. And we kind of talk about this as a new right. study comes out. Exactly. And we all kind of rebound from Thanksgiving where we probably woke up the next day a little salted. Well, let me show you this when okay. it comes to salt. Yeah. See this I right see you about the good stuff. Right. This is about a <laughs> teaspoon of salt okay. right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is about what we should have on a daily basis. That, that's it. That's our intake of yeah. sodium. Which is shocking, isn't it, when yep. you think of how much you probably just really do one have. one teaspoon. So very interesting. Now, yeah. if you, some people probably put that much in just one meal. Well, you know, you know and my dad, actually, he picks up, he's going to hate me for telling you this, but <laughs> all of our family secrets are out there with you anyway. Um, he salts like every bite of meat oh. that he has. It's horrible. Yeah, you have to tell me. And when you have salt on the table, it's all over because they'll pick it up and use it. Right, exactly. How, email him our show today uh, yeah, so he I can will. learn I'm a sure little bit. sure be very there. appreciative. <laughs> <laughs> but salt, it's a hot topic on mm -hmm. our Smart Family 15 Facebook as well. Sarah Faber says that if she's eating out, it's a special occasion. And she says, yeah, eating unhealthy once in a while isn't that harmful for you. And so she says, you know, just watch your kids' habits during the week and keep it 98% healthy. And that's some good advice. Linda Hallway's advice is don't put salt on the table. There you go, Linda. She says there is enough with what's cooked in the food that there doesn't need to be extra added. And Kimberly Green says salt is is not bad. Gray sea salt has lots of minerals and doesn't raise blood pressure like table salt. Hmm, I didn't know that. That's cool to know. The problem, table salt has been processed. It's just like too many carbs. And she says your body needs salt, but unfortunately most people get it from processed foods. Great comments, everybody. Thanks for joining the conversation. We're at facebook.com forward slash smartfamily15 every day, and we would love to hear from you right now. Yes, well, while we're on the subject of too much salt, did you know that the average American consumes about 3,400 milligrams of sodium a day. That is more than 50% of the recommended daily intake, which is actually 1,500 milligrams of sodium. And as I showed you earlier, one teaspoon, that's all we should be having. This, of course, is according to the Heart Association. And on top of that, recently there was a study amongst teenagers, and they consume um, a ton. They're the largest group that consumes the most amount of sodium. So that is why we have Michelle Dudash, who is a registered dietitian, to help us resolve the issue of how we can cut the sodium out of our diet and what are some ways that we can do that. And why is it that teenagers have the highest levels of sodium, Michelle? Well, it's great to see you, Daphne. <laughs> and that's you true. That, you know, the teenagers are eating too much sodium. It's about 3,800 milligrams. Mm -hmm. uh, pizza was actually one of the top foods that they eat that has the sodium. Pizza, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. So wow. the thing is that if they can cut down on the sodium now as teens, they'll reduce their risk for heart disease, stroke, and high blood pressure later on in life as adults. Okay. So that's what that study showed. Well, let me, let yeah. me back over just for one mm -hmm. second because I know you're going to quickly show us uh -huh. the recipe. But, you know, with teenagers, it's a lot of it, I think 80% mm -hmm. is is in the food, processed foods. That is true. So, it's the packaged foods. Right. So that's when it's so important to read that label. Right. Or make your own food of course. at home. Yes. Which is what we have what here. We fresh have here. ingredients. Okay. Fresh ingredients. We love that. Love so it. So what we're making today is a roasted chicken and cherry salad. Mm -hmm. The first thing we do is make our dressing. It's a balsamic vinaigrette dressing. So in here, I have balsamic vinegar. Okay. Now, why do you recommend that we make our own? Because so then we know what how much sodium. Right. Uh -huh, exactly. Okay. Bottled dressings can actually contain a significant amount of sodium. Oh, yes. And these ingredients that I'm using, so I put um, some Dijon mustard in there, this uh -huh. is lemon juice, and I put a little honey just to sweeten it up, Okay. not too much. You put some balsamic this vinegar. This is dried basil. What's this? And then we have our olive oil. Olive oil. pour that one in there. Okay. There we go. And this Thank is our... You. Homemade dressing. Yes, it's extra virgin olive oil. Okay. Excellent. So now I like making it in a jar because then you can you have we're only going to use a couple tablespoons right. in here. Then we have salad dressing for the rest of the mm -hmm. week. So zesty ingredients. You notice I didn't have to put salt in this recipe. Right. So then you have this great vinaigrette dressing. So we're going to just set that aside for a moment. What was the seasoning that you put in? That here? was crushed dried basil. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Then you don't have to go. You can put fresh too, of course, if you if you wanted to. Okay. Now we make our salad. So this here we have some baby fresh spinach. Mm -hmm. We have some dried cherries. We have some roasted almonds. We have some fresh chopped celery. And then here we have, I have some Sargento's new reduced sodium uh, natural cheese. I'm okay. using, uh, you can use cheddar in here or or whatever uh, flavor. This is a Colby Jack. This is roasted chicken that I'm adding. Mm -hmm. If you had grilled chicken left over from the night before or, you know, just your rotisserie chicken, which I use. Or turkey. <laughs> or turkey. <laughs> you, Actually, we have tons hey, of leftovers You can there. make this tonight because right. this is probably the last day you want to use the turkey in okay. your fridge. Real quick, Michelle, you just, you just 
just shook something in here. What's this right that here? That is my fresh black pepper milk. Okay, I thought maybe that was salt. No, <laughs> no, no, no salt in this, no added salt in this recipe. So look at that, pretty cool. So we cool. just toss this, it's beautiful, it's fresh. This whole salad contains only about um, 400 calories, mm -hmm. 475 milligrams of sodium per right. serving. And actually we could do even less um, sodium if we use non-roasted almonds. You yes. Know? Yeah. Well, you can like still use roasted. Just make sure there's no, no salt. salt on. Or yeah, right. raw. I don't know. If exactly. You want to give so look at that. So salad there. It's a great salad. Oh, yeah. oh, I just dropped go. the fork. I'm sorry. <laughs> and here's the really cool thing about this salad, Michelle. It actually serves purpose. Every little yes. ingredient in here does something for Absolutely. your body. Absolutely. And so the I love cheese, it. the Sargento reduced sodium cheese in there contains 25% less sodium than mm -hmm. their traditional cheeses, but mm. it tastes just as delicious. Delicious. Um, you can get that recipe okay. at Sargento.com along or, with many other recipes. Or, or Michelle, uh -huh. thank you for joining us. <laughs> or you can go to ABC15.com. Oh, absolutely. Um, excuse me for eating while I'm talking. You can go to the lifestyle tab, and right there you'll see the smart family section. Good stuff.